Circuit Maker. Circuit Maker, the application. We're going to deal with the device selection dialog box first. And we'll do so by constructing the circuit here. Let's, so let's construct the circuit here. This is a very simple circuit which has one transistor, two resistors, a power source, and a ground. One more time, what does it have? One transistor, two resistors, a power source, and a ground. This is the Browse tab on the application. Here is the panel. Clicking on the Browse tab displays the Device Browse tree. Then you can drill down to the component you want and select it. Let's actually demonstrate this on the program itself. This is the circuit we want to build. So let's do it. I click on br it was on search, I click on browse, and there we go, there's our device tree. I click on general, I see BJT there, I click on the plus sign, and there it is, NPN transistor C, I click on NPN transistor C, and now I want to drill down to the model that I'm searching for. There it is, 2N2222A, that's my transistor. Click on place, and bada bing, it goes in. Let's put it right about there. And move it over a tad. And let's make this just a bit bigger. Easier to see. Mm, move that there. All right, next thing I want is two resistors. So I'm going to do this the easy way. I'm going to hit the letter R on my computer's keyboard. And there's my resistor. I'm going to hit R again. Watch what happens. Bam, it turns by 90 degrees. Click, and in it goes. Hit the letter R again. R again, it turns by 90 degrees. Bam, I click, it puts it in. Now I want to get the voltage source. To do that, I'm going to hit the number 1 on my keyboard. When I do that, there's my voltage source. I put them right about there. Good enough. Now I want to ground. I'm going to hit the number zero on my keyboard. And bingo, there he is. I'll put him below the emitter of the transistor. All right, now I have to connect these guys up. So I go over here to the plus sign. Click on plus. And I connect the voltage source to the tip of the R1 resistor. Then right in the middle, of this line. I click here and I drag this to the end of R2, the R2 resistor, and it squares it out for me. Now I click on the end of this R1 resistor and drag it to the um, collector of this transistor. Let go, and it's fine. Now I drag the end of this from the end of this resistor 2 to the base of the transistor, and it squares it out for me. There we go. Click on the arrow, and now, the problem is this has V1, 5 volts. My specs call for VCC, positive 15 volts. All right, so what do we do? We change it. Go over here to the 5 volts, double click. And uh, there it is, 5 volts. What do I do? I change 5 volts to positive 15 volts. I changed the designation from V1 to V lowercase cc. I also click on the visible check sign here one time and it grays it out. Why? That will get rid of that positive V there. If I don't gray that out, it will show up. All right, very good. Let's now click on OK. And there we go. 
all is well and good. Hmm. Now, this should be resistor B, this should be resistor C, RB, RC. This should be 220K, this should be 870K. Let's change that now. Start with left and work right. Double, double click on the 1K. And I'm going to change 1K to 220K. I'm going to change R2 to R capital B, resistor B. Very good, that's it. Click on OK. Yes. Let's cancel that. Do that again so you can see that. And there's the label value. It says 1K. I'm going to change that to 220K. And our designation is R2. I'm going to change that to R capital B. And that's it. And then I click on OK, and I'm done. There it is. I go to the next one, R1, next resistor, R11K, double click on the 1K, and the label value says 1K, I'm going to change that to 870K, and R1, I'll change that to RC. And then, I click on OK. That's changed. In fact, everything is done except this one part over here. I did not connect this up to ground. I did not connect the emitter to ground. Let's do that now. I go over here to the plus sign, and I drag from the emitter to the ground. Oh, bada bing, it's done. Now. I'm finished. Circuit complete. Circuit accomplished. <laughs> All right. And let's go back to our previous slide. Now there are easier ways to get components into the work area, and that is to use the shortcut keys. Easier ways to get components into the work area is to use the shortcut keys, which I demonstrated. And shortcut keys popular ones are battery B, resistor R, ground zero, and diode D. And shortcuts also use the numbers on the keyboard 1, 2, dot, 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 all the way to zero. These guys here. Oh, by the way, let's label the parts of this component, the transistor, or NPN transistor here. And that is, this is the emitter one with the arrow on it. Just think of an arrow sticking you and you go eek, that hurt. Eek, E for emitter. Alright, that's one way to remember. This is the base and this is the collector. Base, emitter. Base, collector. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching from Gary D777.